Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, how exciting! So the first video I'm going to be bringing to you guys is an everyday makeup look, covering up all these nasty spots. Um, I'm not going through a great skin time at the moment, but you can definitely come on that journey with me. It's just going to be an everyday look. So I'm going in with the Revolution Hydrate Primer. I've used this for ages and it's super hydrating and to be honest I just sort of use any primer I know that sounds bad but I really enjoy this it's quite glowy um so I find that using a bit of powder on top once I've done my foundation really helps so as you can see I'm just smoothing this into my skin it does make me quite red I do have quite red skin anyway but yeah, I'm just smoothing that in. So next I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer, I want to say. This is in the shade Canel. Canel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Excuse the boyfriend in the background. He obviously can't stay away. So I just apply this using a Real, Tec Real Techniques concealer brush and literally basically cover my skin in it. This has been a godsend while I do my makeup covering my nasty spots my redness and it just gives a flawless base for when I put my foundation on so I just pop that in pop that on should I say I then go in with L'Oreal True Match in the shade Vanilla and Maybelline Fit Me in 120. I mix these colours because the Maybelline is quite dark for me. So I just grab my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and literally just dab it all over my face. get them double chins concealed and just dab as everyone does with a beauty blender <laughs> just dab it all in take it down the neck and making sure I've got no obvious lines just casually using my viewfinder as a mirror as you do even though there is one right in front of me <laughs> on, so if this camera would like to focus I am using a buffing brush I don't know where this is from really annoying but you can literally pick them up from anywhere so I just go, um, once I've done my foundation, just go over my face with this, making sure it's all blended in as much as possible.
Then I take the Last Imperfection Concealer, a must have if you wear makeup. You must get this. Again, I don't know what it is about this camera not focusing. Look at me, trying everything. So I believe this is in the shade Light Ivory or Ivory. I will literally link everything down in the description box. So yeah, just scroll there if you want to see what colours I use. But I just dab this under my eyes on the middle of my forehead, down my nose, my cupid's bow and on my chin as well. So I now go in with the Primark Foundation and Contour Stick. Again, shade wise I will leave the colour down below. I've only recently used it, started using a cream contour and at first, I'm not going to lie, it was quite a fail because I wasn't really sure how to blend it, I'm not going to lie. So after wearing makeup, you know, daily, I have sort of learnt to blend it first, then I usually go in with a brush and what I make sure I do is just make sure it's blended before I go in with a powder because as soon as that powder's on it's not going anywhere so you just need to make sure everything is super blended. I also use the same beauty blender for my found uh, my cream contour and my concealer. Don't hate me for it, it is just something I do. So usually I'll turn the side of the beauty blender depending on you know cream contour, concealer, that sort of thing. As you will see but yeah I'm just gonna blend this in blend 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 and would you look at that I'm all blended my camera died annoyingly so yes I'm now going in with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder incredible product everyone raves on about it it is amazing and definitely worth the money so I just take that on a dry beauty blender because it doesn't really give the same effect on a wet one and I feel like a brush doesn't really work so I just bake underneath my cheekbones as best as possible. It does go everywhere. I may not have the best technique, but we move. I then take just some loose powder in the lid because I tip the powder into the lid of the powder pot <laughs> um, and I just take that all over my face. I don't bake for very long because I do find it gives me quite a harsh line if not. So I just take, leave it on literally for that long and just brush it away and then go over any of the other areas that weren't baked. So I now go in with my actual holy grail product. Again, something everyone raves about, but the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I just use a standard colour, but they have now brought out caramel shades, and I believe there's a lighter one. I have tried the caramel one, but it's just the wrong sort of colour for me. And I take that with a Real Techniques cheek brush, I believe it's called. So just in all the usual places, under my jaw, my cheekbones, down the side of my nose. I don't contour properly. I just feel like it's too heavy for my everyday look. And obviously my forehead as well. So 
So I started putting blusher on and realised I forgot to show you what I use. So I'm using the Milani Baked Blusher. This has literally lasted me ages. So I'm just popping on the apples of my cheeks. I do get a bit afraid of blusher so I don't put too much on and I do keep it to a minimum. But I do like this healthy glow it gives me. Next, I'm using the trusty MAC highlighter in Soft and Gentle. Again, everyone raves about it. And I'm just popping this on the high points of my cheeks with a fan brush. Yes, I zoomed in because I'd never get bored of how it looks. It is literally the best highlighter I've ever used. And similar to the blush, it has literally lasted me ages. And that is where I get my money's worth. And I think that's really good. So I'm just, like I said, popping that on the high points of my cheeks on my cupid's bow and also down the bridge of my nose. I then brush my eyebrows through with a just a basic spoolie. I don't put any product on them because I've recently had them dyed as you can probably tell. So no brow gel or anything like that. And then I also brush through my eyelashes as well to make sure there's like no foundation or any product in there. I then go in with my eyelash curlers, which I cannot live without, can I just say. I probably curl my eyelashes like three times a day, and it's pretty unhealthy, I know, but I just think it changes everything. So I'm popping on the Lacura Too Legit Mascara, which is actually a dupe for the Benefit Their Real Mascara, as you can probably tell by the packaging. It is honestly amazing. So I can't actually see a difference between this and the They're Real. They are such good products, both of them. I love them. But the Lacura one, which is obviously from Aldi, is like £3, which is insane. So, oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting distracted. So I just pop that on, give a couple of coats of mascara. Um, usually I don't put la mascara on my bottom lashes because I do find that with previous mascaras I've used the mascara transfers onto my skin which is obviously very frustrating. However this one actually doesn't so I'm popping that on both lashes as you can see and both eyes. And that is the finished look. So super natural, nothing too heavy. And then I'd usually just go in with lip balm on top, just gripping my hair up now. So thank you so much for watching. If you have made it this far, I can't wait to do more videos with you guys and definitely subscribe and like. See you soon.